Okay, traders, a short recap uh, of my trading session today because I don't think I'm going to take another trade today. Um, I had a small loser in Apple, a small winner in Baba, a bigger loser in DE, and my best trade today is in Roku. In fact, in Roku, two trades today. So I'm up almost $600. That's a small green day for a day that uh, where the S&P doesn't move much. And when I talk about doesn't move much, I mean this. If you look, if you look at the Nasdaq, you can see a totally different picture. Nasdaq is uptrending very clearly, but the Nasdaq doesn't count. What really is moving the market is the S&P. The S&P is is the one that you should be watching, and the S&P is just moving sideways, as could be expected. The day before, a day before uh, the holiday, Thanksgiving, people are taking off for the holiday. Therefore, markets not expected to move much. Quite like a Friday, so. Being green in a day like this is rather good. My first and best trade today was Roku. I posted Roku over 167.50. Take a look at the first few candles here. First move up, started with a, with a gap up, first move up, then a pullback. You always want to see the failure to move lower. Then we took it over 167.50, which was before it moved to a new high. Posted it right over here, moved to a new high, continued. Give us, gave us a beautiful, beautiful um, uh, target um, and, a, and a partial over here, and then finally came down. So I had to stop it somewhere. Can't remember. I think it was 167. And look at it coming down now. And again, we used the first few minutes upside momentum, which is good. If you look at the daily of Roku, which you always should do, that's a beautiful setup. Look at this setup and just remember it. Roku is very, very likely to continue the next few days. That's just a small pullback now when it moved to a new high. So more likely not a failure. And again, someone asked me earlier about uh, long opportunities. In fact, swing long opportunities. Roku for a swing on a daily that looks like this looks beautiful. The second one I mentioned earlier for a great swing, potentially great swing, is MRK. You can't see much here, but if you watch the weekly, that looks just amazing. So MRK, Roku, they both look great for a swing trade. Um, so why don't I use the full screen? Now I do. So let's take a look at uh, my other picks today. Uh, we had, um, hold on a second. We had uh, Baba for Long, which worked out fine. That was posted over 198.50. 198.50. That's not Baba. What's going on? Hold on. No, this is Baba. Uh, 198.50. And I think I can't remember where it was. <laughs> no, I can't remember. 197.50. 198.50. Yeah. Guys, I just. Oh, it's five minutes. Then this. Sorry. One minute candles, 198.50. Yeah, definitely here. Over the highs, right. So 198.50, uh, again, it moved up quite nicely. I think it was here, I'm not absolutely sure. Gave us a nice partial target. Just the target was 50 cents, just about, just before the whole number. It moved up, it got there. It was a nice partial. I'm still long 200 shares of Baba. It's a very small winner for me. So it was less than a 50 cent winner. It moved to a new high and it's just going sideways. So again, you've got the first few minutes momentum, even on a day like this when you don't expect the market to move much. You've got the first few minutes momentum and then the market is kind of dead. That's what you've seen on the S&P. That looks exactly like the S&P. But again, the first few minutes took it up. We use this one for a small winner. I had the loser today in DE short under 167.50 and that was 167.50 was right over right over here so initially it moved down a bit um, but then it just came up and there was nothing there I see right now it's coming down but it was uptrending all day for some strange, strange reason, it moved up over the highs and continued higher. Stock is down 5%. And that is a very strange behavior to start like this, move over the highs, continue, and then come down. I was asked by several of you guys whether we should short it today. I thought we shouldn't. Although the end result, I was wrong, came down dramatically. But it's quite a strange behavior. It does not usually happen this way.
doesn't usually happen this way. Um, so that's it. Uh, four trades. We're going to finish up uh, just over six hundred dollars. And just a short recap. N nothing there special to say about what happened today. Looks like uh, Nasdaq is about to move to a new high. Maybe the S and P will finally follow. So that's it for me traders today. Have a, an amazing Thanksgiving uh, holiday. Um, there's no trading tomorrow, so. And I won't be here on Friday since I'm flying to Berlin. But uh, really, enjoy your holiday with your family. And it was so much fun trading with you in past week. I'll see you next week. And so just enjoy your weekend, enjoy your holiday, and um, just have fun. See you guys.